welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film. These are Will I Buy videos and I feel like Samantha March created it but there's definitely a ton of other content creators that are doing similar type of videos. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on some of the new makeup launches, just keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is the, new, the newly revealed Kristen Dominique Lemonade Collection. Now everyone was so so excited about what this palette was going to look like. They sneak peeked the cover I want to say like months ago and now we finally get to see the inside of the palette and my immediate reaction was definitely disappointment um, because with a theme like Lemonade I'd never really heard of another Lemonade themed palette so I think a lot of people were expecting uh, very vibrant shades of yellow and you know greens, limey shades, some pink lemonade, uh, just fun pops of color and I feel like she did, I mean upon like contemplating this palette I feel like she did something that was kind of safe but still gave the people a little bit of what they wanted. Uh, there's some fun you know light pink shades in here. I feel like the two yellows are pretty decent colors um, I just wish she had gone with like a neon too because I feel like yellow is a really fun color um, for people with medium skin tones. It really pops on their skin. Almost makes you look tanner. I like to put yellow in my crease every once in a while. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like she did the best she could. Uh, but I know that some people are going to redesign this palette. And when I see the redesigns, I'm going to be like, oh, I wish she had done that. So those are my thoughts on that. Um, another new launch today actually was the Becca two new face palettes called Be A Light. These were like a complete surprise launch and I must say the packaging and the like the pan size and shapes really drew me in. It's really reminding me of like a bar of candy and the powders just look brilliant. I love Becca's powder products and so I'm not gonna lie I totally bought this because it was just speaking to me and I'm just really curious about what this formula is uh, because they're like uh, all over face uh, blur and imperfection like powders so it's not something I've really seen Becca do before so I am beyond excited for that palette to come in the mail. Um, the next thing I am so excited for and I'm so picking this palette up is the new Summer Vibes palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. They have been teasing this palette for quite some time now and they finally revealed the inside and I just think this is such a fun palette for the summer. It's kind of the palette I was hoping that ColourPop would launch uh, for summer and for their birthday. Still waiting on them to do something like this but Give Me Glow. I just think it's a fun palette. If you look at the duochromes, there's some beautiful duochrome shades. Um, and I just think this is the kind of palette I love because it's a little bit neutral but you can still have some fun with it um, and feel safe and I love that all the pans come out so you can you know reorganize this palette however you feel. Something I'm really excited for is the announcement that Charlotte Tilbury might be coming to Sephora. I have been adding things to my Beautylish cart and taking them out like more times than I can admit to you guys. And so if Charlotte Tilbury is available at Sephora, that would be so cool. I think the brand totally makes sense in Sephora because it's a high-end brand and that's kind of what Sephora is known for. So I think it's a really good partnership. I do hope it actually happens. So yeah, fingers crossed for that. L'Oreal is showing the Very Much Love palette. Now I've seen quite a few palettes coming out from Maybelline and L'Oreal and I think they are trying to you know step it up and do something different. Personally I'm not a huge fan of drugstore eyeshadow palettes. Um, of course some brands make really good ones like Wet n Wild. Actually Wet n Wild is the only one I can really think of um, and I think Colourpop is in that price range of drugstore but they're obviously not sold at the drugstore, um, but yeah, um, it'll be interesting. I'm glad they're doing something different and trying to be more in with the trends because I think that they're going to lose out on a huge market share if they don't, you know, compete with some of these more innovative palettes that are coming out from indie brands and other makeup companies. Now, this palette I did already pre-order. This is a Makeup Monsters uh, Dragon Child palette. 
I really couldn't decide when I was looking at it, like if I wanted it or not, but I also kind of want to try the brand and I wanted to support the brand. And it's kind of a different palette. I don't really have anything like this in my collection. So I thought, why not? Let's try it out and see. I'd never owned anything from them, so I was like, why not? Um, the palette I passed on this last week was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. Now, it is really hard for me to say no to a glow kit, um, but I have the Aurora Glow Kit, and honestly, you could ask me how many times I use it. And it's not a whole lot. I used to use it all the time when I first got it, but it's not something I gravitate towards. And so I'm actually contemplating selling my Aurora Glow Kit on my Poshmark uh, because I just don't use it. And I am so sick of like just accumulating makeup that I don't use all the time. So I think that's going to go in the... Uh, in the declutter pile and so if I bought this dream kit I think the same thing would have happened I would have just used it for you know the start when I first got it and then I would have gotten really bored with it so because of those reasons I didn't get it and I'm very very happy with my decision now Davina is coming out with a new harm is it called the harmony collection um, yes, so she's doing different ones. She just did like a blue green one um, Which is like a dupe for the icy bitch collection that um, Palette that Tarte like did as an April Fool's joke and now they're doing uh, the pink icing set. So it's a beautiful uh, range of colors there are some mattes and some shimmers and uh, Yeah, I think I saw Angelica talk about this in her Will I Bite video on Sunday and I think she showed the shades or she like put up a picture on her Instagram or something. I think the shades are really cool but for me when it comes to pinks, um, these aren't my pinks. There's like one really nice bright pink but a lot of the other ones I'm scared will look ashy on me so I actually passed on this collection or I'm going to pass on this collection. It's coming out this Friday so if you guys are interested je definitely check it out. I have a few things from Davina. I haven't tested all of it yet, so I don't have like a particularly strong opinion on the quality of their shadows. But a lot of YouTubers I watch here online really like their products, so I'm sure it's wonderful eyeshadows. It's just not something I want in my collection at this time. Luxie Beauty looks like they are coming out with a summer collection. And it says Summer Sinner Collection. She's coming and making no apologies. Very, very excited to see what they are coming out with. I recently picked up their new, newish um, metals, heavy metals collection. I'm so excited to play with those. Have not had the time to test them out yet, but very, very interested in anything Luxie does. Okay, guys, the other thing I want to talk about is the new ColourPop eyeshadow palette that's coming out that's called Fortune. Now, I actually passed on the Fame palette and then I saw the Fortune palette and it honestly kind of reminds me of the Huda Rose Gold palette. If you guys are, you know, take a look at and see if you see the same vibes because I definitely see the same vibes and honestly, it's very hard for me to pass up on a ColourPop eyeshadow palette because I kind of collect them. I just got, or not just got, I bought this when it launched. Uh, but I only recently started playing with this. This is the Perception Palette by Makeup Shayla and ColourPop. And honestly, I've been hearing people say that they think the ColourPop formula is getting better and better. And I don't know if they changed the formula, but honestly, in this palette, it was beautiful. The shimmers go on so wonderfully. You barely even like need to foil them because they're so opaque. So I really like it. And I'm honestly, even though this kind of looks like a boring palette, it's like, can you blame anyone? you know it's so affordable so I'm thinking I might actually get fortune and fame if they're both in stock uh, when this new one launches and I don't know I think it's a cool palette like it's not like it's anything revolutionary but I don't know man with ColourPop we just I just can't help myself okay Beauty Blender came out with a new shade it's called Sapphire and it's so beautiful it's a royal blue I actually have a few beauty blenders, but I've recently discovered so many good alternates to the beauty blenders that I refuse to purchase any of them really full price. If I get one on a really good sale, I might get one, but most of the time I'm just using other sponges. Okay, let's talk about this new Gemini eyeshadow palette that Milk Cosmetics is coming out with on June 2nd. I must say these shades are really not my makeup vibes at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, I, I think they're very grungy 
and I can't see myself or like I can't for myself I can't see me creating many looks with these shades I think it's a cool color concept like I would love to wear these colors because like for the fall I think these are beautiful colors uh, but as far as my makeup vibes go this is not it so I will be passing on that um, the new Jouer collection their summer collection is called the Jet Set collection and they did some glosses, some bronzers, a pink highlighter. I think this is really cool. I haven't purchased from Jouer in a long time. I used to be a huge fan of their lip, um, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I don't know. And I feel like um, they kind of have a reputation as like an Instagram brand. Um, so I don't know. I like their stuff. It's just nothing is really calling to me in these new collections that they've been coming out with recently. So I will be passing on that. Okay guys, really quick, let's talk about these uh, Physicians Formula like butter collections. They did like the two palettes and now they're doing a butter collection box. Um, I think this is nice that they are offering um, the butter scent in like a lotion and a, a perfume for people that are really into that fragrance. Personally, you guys know I don't think Physician Formula's whole line is not very, you know, people of color inclusive, so I don't really plan on supporting them but if you guys are interested in something like that I think it's a good idea I mean that's nice that you can kind of take advantage and get uh, a lot of products for less money I've heard so many people talk about the dose of colors block party shadows these are 20 different shades and they each retail for $20 I heard a lot of people complain about the price and I totally agree the other thing with me and dose of colors is I've never really like their eyeshadows I don't like their um like the five pan eyeshadow palettes I don't like that formula and then I bought the Dizzy X Katie collection the eyeshadow palette in that those shadows were way too high maintenance I would never use them you have to use them wet you have to use your finger I've heard some people speculate that this formula might be the same as the Dizzy X Katie palette uh which totally makes sense uh, which means I'm for sure not going to enjoy these, so I will be passing on them. I think it's a beautiful range of colors, but I just feel like, you know, that's like you're getting into like a really interesting price range, and I don't know that regular people can just afford to buy like $20 eyeshadows. So I feel like a lot of people will maybe pick it up on a sale, but other than that, I don't see that really doing too well okay let's talk about this really quick I've also heard so many people talk about this the rose gold remastered palette by Huda Beauty now I have been loving on Huda the last couple of months and honestly I have to say I am really disappointed in what she has done with her brand in this particular scenario I feel like she really did something wrong. I remember when they were saying like the rose gold palette was being discontinued. I feel really bad for people that like bought it because of FOMO and now there's this new palette. I'm so tempted to buy the new palette just so I could compare the two. I do feel like the new palette looks a lot more, like it looks a lot better. And I didn't like the rose gold palette when I bought it. I was really upset. I was so excited for the damn thing. I even ordered it on her website in like Dubai. So I had to wait and it was just a mess. Like the whole launch of that palette was a mess. And so I get why people are upset. I really hope people don't support the palette. I hope people bought boycott purchasing that palette uh, because she really didn't do the right thing with that. I've heard a lot of people say she could have just like sold it on clearance and got rid of got rid of them. Instead, she sold them full price, and now she's coming out with another version. And it seems like she expects you to have both. So let me know your thoughts on that particular product. Actually, let me know your thoughts on any of these products, but. That one in particular I feel like is going to be really controversial for her because um, I don't know I think there's uh, moments in your life where you need to do the right thing and I don't think Huda made the right call on that particular launch. Okay guys that is everything for my Will I Bite video. Let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends and thank you so much for spending time with me. I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.